if you have depression or anxiety or some sort of illness, it's either you know you caught a bacteria or you have neurotransmitter imbalance. What what do you feel if you have to take a big step back and see it all? Do you think it's a matter of light versus dark? What, what what's the, the biggest scope you can say that's happening on the world? Well, uh, of course, you know that's um, I, I could give many answers uh, uh, to that, but I think um, light versus dark. Um, is the shortest way of expressing it. You know, I, I in, in different lectures that I give, you know, so I make it very clear, we don't have to go into the details. In uh, Rudolf Steiner, you know, the, the Austrian uh, mystic that was very active in the early part of the last century, the, the founder of Waldorf schools and biodynamic farming and, and a, a completely new kind of alternative medicine, he um, predicted, you know, that uh, towards the end of last century, in the beginning of the century, there will be a movement driven by big corporations to take the soul away from people, to disconnect people from the higher world. And in order to do that, we have to um, destroy the pineal gland in people. And I followed the research on that, and amazingly what we found uh, the pineal gland is the most sensitive part of our central nervous system and is highly, highly, highly sensitive to four things. Aluminum, glyphosate, fluoride and Wi-Fi. And we are the only country in the world that has pushed these four things in the last 60 years or so on everybody growing up here. and so what I fear, what I observe and what we're also testing on our ART system is that people have calci severely calcified uh, pineal glands and uh, I, I show the anatomy in some of my courses, you know, it's very clear that the pineal gland is a receiver for higher fields of energy and translates them into thought and into actually controlling our uh, immune system, our endocrine system, and, and so on and so forth. There's all science, you know, but very few people pay attention to science anymore, especially it's become the new norm. And so um, it, it is astounding that the telecommunications industry has selected the frequencies out of the huge spectrum of frequencies that are absolutely destructive to our cells and especially to the pineal gland. You know, they couldn't have made any better choices than 2.4 gigahertz. Um, 